what's up everybody hope you're having a good day i've had a really busy summer but i'm ready to get back on track now and get some more quick tips your way so i'm going to talk about a quick lighting workflow tip today that hopefully will help you out all right so what i like to do when i'm lighting something is actually look through the light so that i can position it very quickly so let's make a new light and instead of just kind of dragging it around and pushing it where you want it, what I like to do is look through it. So let's make it a little bit of a smaller light like this. And let's go to the opacity in that light and turn it down so that we don't see it in our viewport. All right, so we're gonna position this where we want it. And we're gonna do that by going to camera, use camera, and then click set active object as camera. And now it's actually going to be looking through that light. Now the problem with this is that if we're looking through this light, we're actually changing the camera. But I want this to be locked where it was so that I can see what my lighting is doing. So let's undo all that. And what we want to do is lock this first. So we're going to go to in Octane is under options, we have check camera. You can do this with any render engine, but it'll be a little bit different. I think Redshift, it's just a lock that you have to check. So let's make sure that we lock this. We're going to uncheck check camera. And now if we rotate around, you can see that we're moving it, but our uh, camera is locked in position. So now we can go to that octane light and we can go back to camera, use camera and set active object as camera. Now we're looking through this light and let's uh, crank up the settings on here so that we can really see what's happening. We'll make this kind of an orange glow. All right, so as we move this around, you can see that we're actually positioning this light. And it's really easy now to just position it wherever you want it. You can see that we're getting this nice yellow glow over here and we'll do something like that. All right, so now let's make a rim light on the other side. We'll just duplicate that octane light and in the light settings, let's change the temperature to blue so that we can uh, see what we're doing here. Now make sure that you're holding down the second light and then we're gonna go to cameras, use camera and set active object as camera. Now we're in that second light and we can position this one where we want it. So you can see that's really easy. Uh, you just kind of fly around your scene. You can get instant feedback on where you're lighting it. It's super easy to do. And now we have that little glint right here. We might want to change the size, but for now that's looking pretty good. So now we can go back to our Octane camera and check it out. And like I said, we can click on that other light, maybe make it a bit wider if we want to have a bit more of a glint here. And just like that, we have our rim light, we have our orange glow on the side, and you can see how easy it is to place lights just by adding them to your scene and then looking through them, then flying around the scene and positioning them exactly where you want it while you get the live feedback of a locked camera. If you guys want this flag, it is part of our brand new flags and banners pack, which I think you will like. And I hope you found that quick tip useful. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.